Hayes passes it up, gets all the way under, makes one more pass to Harper. Harper, a spin move, tough shot goes down. Clemens usually gives it to him. DJ, nice cut, oh, nice, nice finish move. by Clemens. Yeah. Point land. Their last game, a loss to Radford here on Thursday. Whitfield, Good nice job. look from Harper. Nice. Lane has it left side. He's going to dribble drive and give to Days. Days through the lane, puts it up Good in job. traffic, and it goes down. Campbell with the steal. Fourth turnover of the game for Winthrop. Clemens down low. Days for. Clemens. That's right. Hits it. Set. Johnson all over him. There you go. Clemens, step back, hits it, and has been rewarded for it this year and has gotten some playing time this year. Back in the game, and there's a great pass. Lane to Whitfield for two. Again, Whitfield. There's Beauty. Beauty, the Pennsylvania freshman, nearly falling, able to get the pass to Harper, who hits nothing but field. Trapped underneath. There's Casey Perrin from way downtown. Yes. This was a special player also. Clemens for the tie. It rolls in. Good job. You get the feeling he's going to break that. The ball blocked. Whitfield saves it in. Quentin Ray dumps it in from six. Good. DJ on senior day. A patented oh, fake. Nice move. And the left hand. Harper, Days, and Whitfield, the five on the floor for CU. Harper down to Whitfield for the dunk. 15 point lead for Winthrop. Clemens for three. I think this team really wants to succeed. And so I'm hopeful that we're going to have a great couple days of practice and put ourselves in a position, no matter who we play, to play our best basketball on Thursday. And if that happens, I'm going to be proud of my team, no matter what the result of the game. And then. If we're fortunate enough to come out on the right side, we're going to come back and we're going to play as hard and as well as we can on Friday. 